Who's ready for cooking Vlogmas? Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you mean to me. Oh, Christmas tree. Honestly. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day of vlogmas today as you can tell by the title i am making my nameless breakfast casserole since we couldn't get together this year for christmas and that's like our staple i'm making it my aunt tracy that we're not, i'm not going to be able to see is also making it so we're kind of just trying to keep that one thing stable so i'm gonna make this it's super easy um i'll put the recipe in the description i don't have a link to it i just have a picture of what she uses so i'll put it in the description in case any of you guys want to make it yourself or you can just take notes from this video um it's only like six or seven ingredients it's super easy to make as i mentioned in a previous video my nana can only make about three things the first one was trail mix the second one is this breakfast casserole and then the third one is meatballs so when i tell you it's super easy to make it is super easy to make so without further ado let's get right into it so i actually have the picture of what she sent me pulled up on my computer so if you see me looking off to the side that's why so it only needs like six ingredients i think so we need bread butter sausage cheddar cheese, six eggs, and then two cups of half and half or milk. And I will be using milk because that is all that I currently have. I don't have half and half handy. So that is what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna get those out and then we will get started. So the first thing that you are supposed to do is get six slices of bread and then cut the crust off so that's what i'm going to do now and i'm just doing this on the bare counter i'm not putting anything down i'll just clean up the crumbs later So once you get all of the crust cut off the bread, you just put butter on it like you would if you were making a grilled cheese. So just one side. Um, and then you butter a 13 by nine pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. So I got my 13 by nine pan. I think that's what size this is. I'm not actually sure. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some butter in the bottom of this. It's not gonna be melted or anything, but you are supposed to butter one side of each piece of bread and then butter the bottom of this as well. And I was just gonna use like Pam spray, but I'm kind of afraid that that's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna put regular butter and then it'll melt eventually like once it cooks. So I'm gonna just like spread it around a little bit and we're gonna hope that this is what you're actually supposed to do. Because truthfully, I've never made this before and I don't actually know, but this is my understanding of butter the bottom of it, so. So now that I'm done buttering it, I basically just did it like icing. I just covered the bottom as best I could and it is melting a little bit as it is in room temperature. But now I'm going to butter each piece of bread and then you just lay them flat to cover the bottom. So I have buttered all of the bread and it fits in here perfectly so I'm going to assume that this is the right size. Um, the next step is to brown the sausage and drain the grease so I'm going to do that next. I'm just using regular Jimmy Dean sausage, um, nothing fancy, just it's already prepackaged and you need a pound so this is the perfect size. Oh, that lighting is terrible. Um, this is the perfect size so I'm going to brown that real quick and then we will get on with the video. Thank you. 
I don't know if you can hear me over the sausage grease like crackling, but once you finish cooking the sausage and drain it, you are supposed to just like sprinkle it. You're supposed to chop it up like really fine and then sprinkle it over the bread and then you're gonna put cheese on top of it. So I'll give you the measurements and everything like that once I get to it, but the sausage is one pound. So like I said before, the whole roll of Jimmy Dean sausage is one pound. So I just use one of those. I use regular, but if you want it to be a little spicier, obviously you can use whichever one you prefer. Um, but I just use regular because I don't want it to be super spicy. You also want to make sure that you're not cooking the sausage on too high of a heat level because if you do, it's going to burn very quickly and you don't want that because you want it to be cooked all the way through before you put it on top of everything. So just make sure that you're keeping an eye on it and that you're stirring it frequently so that it all gets done and that it doesn't burn. Right now I have mine on a 6. I think the highest it goes is 10. I don't know how yours is, but... I would just do like a medium heat and not high, not low. I mean, you can do low, but oh no, I dropped some. But just to make sure you get it all done, I wouldn't do too high so that it doesn't burn, but that it still gets done. So I need to drain the grease once it's finished, but I'm here by myself and I don't want to pour it down the drain. And we have a little thing that we always put grease in, but I don't really want to hurt myself. So I'm going to try a hack that I saw, I think on TikTok, where you put the aluminum foil in the dish drainer thing and it catches it and then you can just throw it away. So I'm going to try that and hope that it works. <laughs> So for the most part this worked. I did miss a little right here so some of the sausage fell out but you just have to wait for this to dry and then you pull it out and throw it away. So that's what I'm going to do. This worked pretty well though I guess. I guess it's better than completely down the sink. So I'm going to bring this and set it over here. The sausage is done and now I'm going to sprinkle it over the bread. I'm just going to use the same spatula that I used to cook it with so I don't dirty up more dishes. So the next thing you do after you spread the sausage is you sprinkle a little bit of cheese. I'm just using this kind from Walmart, but whatever you prefer. It calls for cheddar cheese. It calls for one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese, but I love cheese, so I'm just going to put however much I feel like it. Once you are done sprinkling the cheese, you combine the eggs, milk, and however much salt you want just for flavor. So we do six beaten eggs. So I'm gonna put them in the bowl and like beat them with a fork. And then you do two cups of half and half or two cups of milk. But like I said before, I don't have half and half. So I'm just using regular whole milk from Food Lion. Also, I'm only using a half cup measuring cup because that's all I have right now that's clean. So if you see me putting it in here four times instead of only twice, that's why. So the last step is to pour this mixture over 
this you put it in the fridge and it cools overnight and then you cook it after 24 hours in the oven so i'm just gonna go ahead and pour this on here i also added pepper just to have a little bit more flavor you don't have to do that if you don't want to but i chose to so i'm gonna pour it over this mixture and then you cover it with aluminum foil put it in the fridge for 24 hours and then you'll be ready to cook it tomorrow So it is now the next day and the breakfast casserole has chilled overnight and you're supposed to take it out of the fridge 15 minutes before you put it in the oven so I have done that and now I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 and wait for that to heat up and then you just uncover it. And honestly, this kind of looks gross. So I'm hoping that it turns out good. Because I've never made this before and I'm a little worried. <laughs> but once that preheats, you put it in the oven for 45 minutes, I think. I don't actually know. Yeah, 45 minutes or until the eggs set. So I'm just going to do 45 minutes because I don't actually know what that means. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So she is done and she is looking beautiful. I was very scared that it was gonna turn out bad, but it's not, I don't think. So let me get something to put this on. I don't think that's gonna be big enough, but this is what we're going with. And I'm gonna hope that I don't drop it. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh baby. Oh, I'm so happy this looks like it's supposed to. Moment of truth. Mom's gonna determine if I'm a chef or not. It's super hot. Uh, oh, did it not? Oh no, it looks fine. Yeah. Right? It's, it didn't, it's not sticking to the bottom? Maybe a little. Oh boy. Oh, it's hot. Be careful. Mmm, <laughs> that's really hot. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'm a chef. I am so, so glad that this turned out good. Because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was real nervous when I put it in the fridge yesterday because it did not look like it was gonna be fluffed up how it is now. And I have the hiccups, so I apologize. But it is, it is so good. It just like my nails, I'm so happy. But yeah, so that is how you make the breakfast casserole. And I'm going to type out the um, recipe and leave it in the description bar down below because I don't have like a link to to it or anything oh my god these hiccups but um yeah so happy vlogmas day 23 we are so close to being done so if you have enjoyed vlogmas make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below and i will see you guys again tomorrow